Hi, I'm Diane Cometa, and today on Dishing with Di, I'm going to show you how to make my broccoli salad. This salad is loaded with flavor and textures, and it can be made ahead. So let me show you what you need, and we'll get started today on Dishing with Di. You need some broccoli florets that have been cut into small pieces red onion that's been finely chopped, some cheddar cheese that's been cut into small cubes, some mayonnaise, white granulated sugar and ground black pepper, some white distilled vinegar, some dried cranberries, some almonds, and some bacon at room temperature. There's a lot of great ingredients here. This is gonna be a really flavorful salad. So there's just a couple of things I'm gonna talk about before we get started. With the dried cranberries, what I've done is I've taken some water, put it into this bowl with the cranberries, and I popped this in the microwave for one minute. So this is hot now, and I'm just gonna set this aside and let those cranberries kind of puff back up again and get nice and juicy and plump again. And then once that happens, I'll drain that and put those on some paper towels and kind of dry those out. Now what I'm gonna do is go over to the stove and I'm gonna get my bacon started. My bacon is done and I've allowed it to cool. I'm just gonna use my hands and just break it up. I also drained my cranberries and they're in this bowl right here. And I just put them in a paper towel so that they can kind of um, absorb some of that moisture. I don't want them to be soggy when I put them into the broccoli salad. So this looks pretty good. I'll break it up a little bit more right before I put it in. But the first thing that we're gonna do is get a big bowl, bigger than the one you're gonna serve it in because you have to kind of toss this around. So you need a good amount of space. So I have this big bowl right here and this is where we're gonna put everything. I'm just gonna put that right there. And the next thing I'm gonna do is get my mayonnaise and take my vinegar along with the granulated sugar and the pepper, and I'm gonna mix that all together. All right, that's good. I'm just gonna set that aside and start dumping everything into my big giant bowl here. So my broccoli florets are gonna go in first, my cranberries, just everything. Just get it all in there. Everything looks good in there. And now for the bacon. Just gonna pour it right in there. So first, I'm gonna toss this around with my hands. Look at that, it's so colorful. And now with our dressing. Just pour this right over it. And then you're just gonna toss it around some more and get everything thoroughly coated. I'm just gonna put a little touch of salt and that's up to you according to your taste. Give it another little quick toss around and then I'm gonna put this into my serving bowl. Okay, that looks beautiful. Look how colorful that is. I have to give this a taste. Now it's really best if you let this sit overnight and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put some plastic wrap on top of this and I'm gonna serve this tomorrow because that gives the flavors a chance to really mingle. But just for you, let's try to get a little piece of everything. Mmm. Bacon. Crunch from the broccoli. Mmm. Almonds, everything. It's such a great combination. And it gets better by tomorrow. So do make this and make it ahead of time. Save yourself trouble. You can even make this two days ahead. I've done it before. The recipe is on my website, dishingwithdye.com and I hope I made your life a little easier, more enjoyable, and delicious. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.